Hello! So, a really quick one today. Well, probably not so quick, but select all with A, X to delete. We're going to append in the woman rig. So, I've got the woman rig here. I'm actually going to go to collections, select all, append. Bam, we have the woman rig. Now, there are a couple of different things that we can obviously do with this, but I want to first give it a material. So I'm not going to go over complicated material. I'm going to shading, change from world to object. I'm going to delete this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that roughly the same. Bump up the subsurface, switch to cycles. I'm going to slightly redden the color. And then we'll have a sort of rough skin color tone. Perfect, and it gives us a nice sort of glowing between the fingers and stuff like that. And that, for now, is all we're going to do with that. Next up, I'm going to select the rig. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to hide this too. Like this. So, my plan here is I would like to make a top. But, I'm not going to use a texture for this. I want to 3D model a top on this character. So, to do that, I'm going to go Shift A, add in the plane. And then I go into side view with 3, and press Tab, rotate it round, bring it up, scale it down. So I'm going to press G to move it along. And I'm going to go to Add Modifier, Mirror, Turn Clipping on. Okay. I'm going to move it back a bit. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do this, but I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select Snap to Face. And I'm going to click this one to be on. Now, if I go into Edit Mode, just like this, and click somewhere with, uh, with using G uh, with this on, you notice it'll automatically stick to the mesh. One issue with that, however, is I need to go into here and go shrink wrap, select the target, and I don't want it to be on surface, I want it to be above the surface, and I need to up the offset by a little bit, like so. Now I can add a subdivision surface on as well, move that one up, and now from there, all I have to do is model this top. So I want it to obviously start a little lower than that, because I need... Ooh, need to go under the arms and I can turn this off just while I'm working and you can even turn onto wireframe for ease of use bring it round bring it under the arm uh, remember that it's clipping onto surfaces so if I select the arm then it'll it'll work onto the arm so I need to go underneath the arm. I'll add a loop cut in there as well. And then across the back. Like so until I meet in the middle. Perfect. Now I can go onto the bottom view. Onto this one. Now I notice I haven't got it very even, but that's actually kind of okay for what I'm doing here. Bring it down. And I'm going for a very simple top, so I don't have to worry too much. Bring up another line here. And now you'll notice that it was trying to clip onto edges. Um, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hold control while I place this line. And I'm going to go on to edge select. I'm going to extrude up, up, over. You'll see how just how easy it is to model in this way. And I want it to sort of come round the back here and then meet in the middle. So it goes up and round the neck. And that is pretty much all we need to do. Now if I click Shade Smooth, there are obviously a slight artifact here, um, which is to do with the shrink wrap. If I moved it this above, oh, 
Let's remove this above. That one should go away. Maybe not. It's to do with the mirror then. But that's all fixable. Oh, it'll be to do with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's to do with the shrink wrap. But it helps us to notice little issues like this here. So where I clearly need some more supporting line. Just to get it around the corners nicely. And I think I should add one over here as well. And probably one on here. Brilliant. So it's just a small crop top style outfit. I can obviously change the colour of this as well. We'll go for like a pink. And there we go. We now have 3D clothing. I could even, if I wanted to, add a slight solidify on here. Just so that it's not flat. And increase that just enough so that it touches the skin. And bam. We have now got 3D clothing. It conforms and fits on the body. Could even go in the shadow just to make it slightly clearer. But yeah, very, very easy to do. And that is probably the easiest way you can do 3D clothing without um, having to just use textures for it. And you can actually texture this entirely separately, however you like. If I unwrap this, you can see here fairly clean unwrap. I could paint this as much as I wanted to if I wanted or apply a texture. Thank you for watching and I'll do more in the next episode. Please remember to like and subscribe. Have a nice evening.